Good morning. It is a Thursday, believe it or not. I have not made a video all week long. It's been a very unproductive week. So Monday and Tuesday, I had scheduled for punch list days. We had sealing. We had a patio that needed to be stripped of sealer and then resealed. I videoed that and then realized that it was going to be a boring video because it was just us stripping sealer and me being irritated the whole time because that is not my favorite. You saw us do that once before. Um, and then yesterday we were supposed to start a patio and the weather was terrible. Uh, we actually had five or six tornadoes right here in southeastern Wisconsin, which is very unusual for October. It was pretty crazy weather, so we didn't work. We're going to that patio today, unfortunately. It's probably gonna be swamped because it rained a lot yesterday and they have a beautiful yard. And we have to get over that beautiful yard to get to the patio with all of our, all of our equipment. It might be a mess, might even end up leaving. So it has not been a good week. It's been probably the least productive and worst week financially of the year for my business. But sometimes that happens and that's just the way that it is. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. We'll see what we can get done today. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. There she is. Where you been? How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, Lisa. Good. Who's running the coffee shop? I don't see anybody. I'm not sure who it is today. Mm. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. See you next time. Yep. Have a good day. Thanks. It's feeling like a Monday. It's cold out, dreary. Nobody running the coffee shop to say hi to. Come on. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It's six o'clock on the head. I'm pretty early. Nobody's gonna be here, obviously, but they'll start getting here soon. Everything is ready to go. Monday, we fueled up the trucks. We cleaned the trucks. We are ready to work. Unfortunately, today, I think we're gonna pretty much make a mess. That's my feeling anyway. It's gonna be muddy and it's gonna be <clears throat> pretty nasty, but I could be wrong. We'll see what happens. Either way, we're gonna go there and try something. <laughs> we'll try something. All right, I just saw bugs pull in. <clears throat> Somebody else is pulling in. Who is that? Daryl's here. 611 and Daryl's here. Jade will be running over here so fast in about two seconds. Here she comes. Hi, Jade. Hi, Jade. How are you doing? What are you doing here? You don't come in without my permission. What are you eating? Burritos. Burritos? I don't know what you're doing here, though. I don't need you today. I find something. You know, I find something on this look pretty. Yeah. yeah. I miss you here, you guys. You miss it? Yeah. <laughs> Junior misses being with us. We'll get the old 7-3 fired up. stay idling the engine protect and check engine light comes on and it'll die in about 30 seconds but then if you put it in gear and go it doesn't die at all it's only when it idles so it's got good oil pressure it's got oil in it so I'm not worried about it actually burning up or anything but I got to get this thing looked at I'm gonna try to limp it into the end of the season we got a little over a month left See, now it's gonna shut off. That light starts blinking. Check engine light. And... Now the other one started blinking, the engine protect light. And there it goes. It's really weird, it starts right back up. I gotta find my flashlight. Got it. 
So we have a patio door step. They're usually about six foot six or seven feet long. And then we have a stoop with a threshold. So we need some two by eights on here. Which we don't have. There's one short one on there and that's it. My little body shop booth is coming along good, man. I worked on it all day yesterday. Yeah. All I got, I'm putting in a little service door. Hope yeah. It's all enclosed so I can get in and out. Almost gone. I gotta put lighting in. I'm gonna put four lights on each side. I already got heat for it. Yeah. That's cool. I wish I could find some indoor space. Give me space. something to do. I mean, I've, I've lived there five years. I've never thought about it, but it's working out really good because the quantum of it is insulated. It's got insulation. Oh yeah. All over yeah. It. So there's only an inside wall that I got a plastic. It should work out good. I brought something for you in the truck. I'll give it to you later. <laughs> Because he can't hear you, that's why. I said I brought you something that's in the truck. I'll give it to you later. <laughs> There's a stoop with a threshold yeah. and a patio doorstep. I'll try to pour those two things. Yeah. I just hope it's not a big mess, man. Right. Eric's Got here. I don't know if Mike's coming in or not. I never really talked to him about it. No, if he doesn't, I'll drive that one. He's broke. Good morning. Why do you look so tired? Because we work on the house. I'm thinking about switching brands of skid steers. Why? For a couple of different reasons. I don't like that Bobcat doesn't have hand foot controls anymore. Oh, come on. I don't like that, man. They don't have any hand controls. No. Francisco's here. I went and looked at a new Holland yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Track machine. What's the price difference between Bobcat and Holland? A lot. So, yeah, I know so. I sat okay. in it yesterday. Plus it has a huge backup camera. A big screen inside. Oh, okay. That way if you ran it, you could see all the damage you did right after yeah, you did right. it. All right, I think we're ready to go. Go to the job and figure it out later. When I say it's always something, I mean it. It is always something. All right, we're just pulling up on the job. So this job is the dad of a landscaper and the landscaper wanted to kind of work with us. He wanted to learn a little bit more about concrete. So pretty sure he's going to be hanging out with us during the job. I told him that was completely fine. Not a problem. Don't, don't park here because it's too narrow now. Yeah, just somewhere. All right, we are here bright and early. Plywood, plywood. I love plywood for breakfast. So do I. All right, bring it over here. We'll start laying it out. I think we're gonna bring the plywood straight right through here so I don't have to make a turn and go to the driveway. Crispy morning, you can see your breath this morning. All right, so this is it. So we're, we're replacing this patio uh, step, stoop and threshold. It's getting bigger, we're going pretty close to the pool it's getting bigger here you can see the flags coming around 
It's gonna go up to there and rip out all this concrete. Jade's gonna watch us turn it into a mess. Right, Jade? Morning. Morning. You tired? Not too bad. All right. I'm normally up anyways, so. Yeah. Do you guys normally start this early in the neighborhood? Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You we get yelled at a lot by neighbors about that. Or? No, not really. Okay. It's six fifty-eight. Okay. Seven o'clock is. I've had some neighbors yell. Seven o'clock is start time. Okay. If they yell at us, it's a rare thing. Okay. Like it's only happened a few times. Agreed. Okay, so follow the flags, obviously. Pretty much. And then we were basically they, yeah follow the flags again here basically. What is this for? That's where the umbrella is gonna go. Okay, My you're just a very visual person. Gotcha. <laughs> So, you're so we're just gonna, yep. what is it like 18 inches or something? 16 inches. 16 inches. And it's going off of here. Not yep, the not post. the post. Yep. Okay. And then, is it going like this and then like a corner? Um, We were hoping to keep a curve right here. And this will. Oh, it's so going it, all the way out yeah. there. So it's gonna, okay, gotcha. this will be the pad for the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. equipment. Gotcha. Um, so the plan is we'll get all the concrete out. As long as it doesn't get too nasty and we're just making no progress. We'll get all the concrete out, get it all excavated, set up. We'll pour the, stu the stoop and the step. Okay. And then tomorrow, we'll pour the patio. Okay. If everything goes well. Okay, goal is to be done by the end of the day tomorrow then? That's the goal. Okay. That's the goal. This is Jade. Yeah, I've seen her on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty famous. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she got famous pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much the first day she was famous. She knows it too. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not doing the <laughs> <laughs> working hard, hardly working. Junior, come here. We got a sign for all of us. Oh, no way. And then this is your sign. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. For your brother. Oh, so cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a cordless box popped open or was open or something I when he left. Dragged it on the ground for a whole block. I see it's, it's all, all right junk. Pieces. I wish I could find some indoor space to rent so I could fix some of that stuff in the winter. Yeah. No. Jackhammer in the beak. So I went back to the patio that we stripped. Which one? Oh, Which one? Yeah. The one we stripped there. Because yeah. I went back and sealed it. Then I went back later that night and it still has stripes on it. Yes, it does. So I emailed the guy. I was like, man, we tried our best. I mean, the stripes are, it's way, 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 way better than it was. Yeah. But. Not really, but he accepted it. He said, I can't say I'm fully satisfied, but it is what it is. What didn't he like? The concrete? The stripes. So originally in the plan, we had those three feet of rock going on. Yeah. There, so you were going to be a little farther away from yep. the pool with those little pads. But yep. we were looking at it, and those pads were hardly going to fit anyway. So, yeah. Um, It'll be nice so to have a little extra room. Closer here. Yep. Hey, go get, go get the Hilti, the little chipping hammer. Okay. You're going to need that for the threshold. Any other questions on the marks or anything like that? Otherwise, no, we're just gonna start ripping concrete out right now. Okay, start making uh, some noise and irritating the uh, neighbors. Yeah, oh, uh, I didn't see the hammer drill in the form truck in the back toolbox. I don't know if it fell out or something. Well, you, you guys used it, I have the other job, you guys used it on the little job. Yeah, Francisco was there, I put everything back in his truck. Let me double check. All I did was put the saw in my truck, everything else went back in his truck. You know where the hammer drill is? Oh, yeah. Buck said he didn't see it in the box. Oh, he moved it. I put it in the other side. Oh, the other side. Francisco moved it. Good.
somebody can grab an extension cord and start working on the threshold. How much concrete do we take out? Good job. <laughs> Y'all got forms and everything ready? Or are you just gonna be chilling for a while? Uh, we're gonna uh, we're just circle, bend these, bend these. You guys, can, you guys can see. You guys can see Your what's guys. going on. I'm filming, go, shoot. Don't yell at me, man, I don't want to cheat. Fuck! We got a bigger booger right here. <laughs> here you go. All right, thank you. I mean, you just, you just, you just marked it all out. You should know what it looks like. Tino's here. Did you just wake up? <laughs> Only 7.30. You're on fire today. You guys have been working on that little square for like an hour. I don't know, we're just going deep, deep. Bugs, I'm gonna drill that. Okay. But well, let me get the concrete off first. Yes, Daryl, get the drill. I'm gonna get the auger. I'm gonna auger those holes so Bugs can set that step. Just really tight back and out of here. I got a pole on my left, so when I turn to the right, I gotta watch that. And I got a planter box right behind my left track and plants to my right. Just gotta go slow and be careful. I almost hit the planter box my very first trip out. I wasn't even looking, it was probably within two inches. But thankfully I didn't smash it. You don't wanna hook the hoses up first? Yeah, we could do that. We're gonna be scraping that plywood for three hours. No more. It's not. That I bad. haven't even turned in there yet. Wait I till I turn in there. It's gonna go brawl. <laughs> Did you notice the thing bogs down when you go forward a little bit? Yeah, it needs a new fuel filter. The fuel filter is completely. Well, why did they put that on when they serve? They didn't service it. Well, when they did that, they should have known that. How, I mean, how would they know that? They don't test drive them. They just put together and say, "Oh, here, come get your machine." Let's just start doing it the other day. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna take it really serious. But I know. By the time this job right there, and it's gonna be muddy, we're getting them in the excavator to do all the dig out and stuff and put gravel on. Why do you think that would help? Why do you think that would help? So we can make less of a mess on the road. 
Easy, easy, easy. On the siding, it's already wiggling. Yeah, and let's get our dump site too. That's a good idea. Careful. Whoa. Oh. Bring your phone so we can get out of here. You gotta go with your yeah, dad. I know. We'll get the map. Yeah. Uh, how much stone you want? Uh, no, just get like 15 yeah, tons. Them, man. Uh. Hey, where are you going? You going by a mare or a wolf? Are you going by a wolf? Yeah. Get a fuel filter for this. It needs it, man. It's bogging down really bad. She's a supervisor. She, she has a lot to learn yet, but she's the supervisor. <laughs> yeah. We got one that's two and a half that still acts like a puppy and eats mulch and oh. grass and gets something that's like, give me a break. Right. The other one's much more mellow. It's going good. I'm just trying not to poke a hole in the pool. Yeah, that's so, a good thing. Yeah, that's why Daryl's not running the machine right now. <laughs> All right, I've been digging, but I am totally out of truck. Daryl's not back yet with the Mac, so it's about all I can do until he gets back. Ah. Kids love looking at. Oh yeah, well they're gonna get to watch a whole video. Yeah. That should be fun. It's 12 inches in, and then you gotta follow the pins exactly how they were. Where you want the ah? Gravel. What do you mean when I want to gravel? Why are you eating? You're always eating. Yeah. Uh, I got the fuel filter too. <laughs> we don't even have a wrench. I got one right here. Are you going to use your belt? Yeah. Since your belt is off, hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it don't break. Last time I did that, I broke my belt. Didn't be that tight. Now you have to put the ones around there. Help. Ready? Okay. Go cool, a little more. Alright, that's good. We gotta fill this thing. Yeah, I know. I'll go fill it now. Good, go fill Hold it. On, my pants are ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, afternoon. What? So, I'm gonna look at the filter. They didn't even throw the lights in there anymore. About oh. that plus. Uh oh. So, I looked that northern. So I found one, but we're also going to check out how to break the clutch later on. Can you go a little faster, please? I'm coming! Look at what Larry's guy did. He must have a guy just like you. They ran the solver oh. with the quad axle. Oh, come <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to do this one tomorrow? What, which one? I actually don't remember that. No. Okay. No, it couldn't be that one. It had to be the first one, I guess. Is it the first one? Yeah, I'm I sure it is. This one, this is the one that's up. No, this is down. This is up. Okay, so make it even, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, I forgot about that. Tino, come here. I'll show you something. Oh, you moved the dog? Yeah. Because yeah, he was only really here, man. You can chill in his work. You know, we hardly know work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's grab the big sledgehammer. And grab the big sledgehammer and start. We got to break this one piece out. Okay. We're going to replace just this piece. Nice. Just this one. All right. All right. Bobcat should be up to full power again. I know that was a problem. 
It happens all the time when it starts to get cold and then throughout the winter, it'll probably stumble a little bit. I'm gonna pump the primer bulb a few times. Machine down? Nah. No? It just needed a fuel filter. Oh. How long you had this machine for? 10 years. Oh wow. Must have been a good machine then. Yeah, it's a good, it was a good machine. But it'll still last for a lot more years, but I'm gonna replace it anyway. Soon. What is that? Where was it? Jade's tearing stuff up. Hey, she got it again, Eric. Put it outside of her reach. EDM, Eric? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> the form just went down. It did? Yep. I saw it. Damn, you hit it? Yeah. yeah. He just didn't hit it. He nailed it. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sure bugs won't mind at all putting the heights back up. Are you guys just like taking a break or is a pick broken or I, I'm just it. asking. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> Once that's dug out, we got to dig out that window well and, and adjust it and reattach it to the house properly. Okay. Where's the supervisor? He's with Daryl. Oh, he's still here? No, they went to go dump the load of dirt. Oh, okay. All right, everything's dug out. Eric and Francisco are working on the window well. You guys almost done? Yeah, it's just oh, this thing is deep. So deep, so strong. Stronger than you? Yep. So I still gotta run some heights up. The forms are in, but they're not up to height. So I'm gonna take that bucket out of here, get these up to where they need to be, and then we'll start grading this area. Right now it's about 10 o'clock, I think. 10.01 concrete's at noon for the steps i'd like to have this graded so we can just be you know starting to clean up by the time concrete gets here we'll see how it goes got it you got one side huh you got one got side it. Just gotta get this one though that one's up it's loosey me yeah it's huge don't mind me i'm just watching oh that's all right you should see probably if can, see if I can learn a thing or two while I watch, you know. So, honestly, it's pretty easy. That's so I've been dull. Yeah, it's 20 years, they still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just put these little nails in the ground, okay. holds up the form, you slap the concrete to the height of the yeah. form, smooth it all out, collect your check. It's super easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So did you just base, base the height off where the old patio was? No. You kind of start with the height of your grass. Oh. You try to make it all work out with the existing right. landscape as much as humanly possible. Yeah, I've done plenty of jazz to yeah. regrade around new concrete. Do the best you can. You know, okay. sometimes lawns are like this. Oh, trust me. Or they're way too high and you're like, I can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. It happens. But usually when I bid, I can see that and I'm like, you got a problem here, you know. Do you think it's better to have this curving in like this a little bit or straight on towards that window? I don't know. It looked like it was curving on the drawing. Okay, I don't 
I honestly, it's up to my parents. Yeah. To ask him. So if you look at the look at the squares, yeah, you can see it's coming in. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm gonna have to run that by my mom to make sure she's happy with that. I need to know now because we got to strip it off, start over again if she wants change. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll go so, ask her right now. Then. Yeah. Ah, we need to reuse the window well. Don't damage it. I'm not. Okay. What do you think of that little curve? I just said it to where the pins were this morning, the little stakes. We put our pins 12 inches from where the flags and everything were, so we just kind of follow what was there. I mean, where do you want it to start? Off the edge of the window or... Okay, so this is going to be, you know, this is going to be more here then. Yeah. What do you mean, the whole thing is going to yeah, go back? Yeah, if you, wanna, if you want it straight. Oh, all I was thinking was straighten it this way, not do anything down there. Okay, leave it. Yeah, I think it's fine, Thank you. I mean, can I move this a little bit? Because I don't like it right here. I mean, oh, yeah, you can. I mean, I just want to make a little adjustment from your flags. <laughs> Is that better? Yep. Okay. And then all the water, it's going to work out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, with the height of the lawn and where that is. Okay. It should work fine. Good. You like the forms? It's just eating the forms. Got her? Yep. Okay. All right, I'm bringing gravel. You've been gone for two hours. Yeah, right. What took so long? Tell me the truth. What took so long? Where did you go? We saw the deer up in the field, and we had to wait for the train. You good there? Yeah, we're good. You need some on that edge, though. Yeah, we just need some edge. Uh, oh, can we put the forms? No, let's just finish grading. I don't really have time for the forms yet. Ay, ay, ay. Ow! We're not even done greeting, Daryl. I see that you're tearing a neighbor's lawn to shreds. He can't say it wasn't you. It wasn't me. You gotta be careful, man. You can make people mad like that. I know. Looks like rain's coming in. It is, it's supposed to rain. <laughs> Was it supposed to? Today? Today? Yeah. Huh? Today? Yeah, this afternoon. Finish shoveling right here, too. I'm gonna dump this on that side. Okay. Can I get a bite air? You got extras? Yeah. Man, you eat too much food. You get more hungry when it's cool out though. Yeah. Always. Good. Good, move the skid loader. Let's get it done. Yep. Hi. 
if you want to if you want to pull up and then get right next to the curb stay on this side of the road is there rods into the existing there's got to be rods into the existing Just put a splash. I want it real stiff, but I know it's at a five, but it's only two and a half yards, so I ain't gonna add too much water. Yeah, just give it just a splash, less than a half a gallon, okay. just a tiny bit. You're not gonna help at all. Just watch. I'll help if you want. <laughs> I don't want to get in the way. Yeah, I know. We really we don't have enough guys today. Yeah, I know. I feel like we're short-handed. Yeah, Francisco's half asleep. Well, he's, he's always really <laughs> Eric's three quarters asleep. <laughs> Tino's, Tino's leaping. Yeah. No. Right. Tino's already knocked out. Right. Right. this now come on he said he didn't trust you he said you were gonna hit the pool yeah right well, well you, I did the form first you did hit the house once <laughs> that's true Is this pitching down good? Boxy, uh, we did the first thing and right here. Level? Come on, man. A little. Take the take the duct tape off. Somebody get a tape measure and a chalk line and a pencil. Let's just do it right. Because it's clearly it's not right right now. Concrete. This stuff's hard. This can't be Lafar cement. This is some kind of different cement. I can tell A by the color. All right, concrete's poured. You guys are just washing the tools. Put 2% setting up very fast. So that's good. Setting up so quick, hey, Bugs? They ain't wasting no time. It was getting hard on the sidewalk. That's good, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like the place to uh, no, I want to pick up all the plywood, okay. sweep all the grass super nice, okay. and then we'll just lay uh, one strip of plywood this way okay. for the buggy. But yeah, I want to get everything cleaned up 100%. We need to get the plywood picked up. I love plywood. Yeah. I like putting it down and picking it up and then putting it down and picking it up and then repeat. You got to do what you got to do. He's supervising. Obviously. He's a little busy right now. Plywood, plywood. We need a song. We need a song for everything we do. 
Yeah, it would be. Sweeper, sweeper, that's what we do. <laughs> okay, how would you do it? Come on. <laughs> Alright, we're just cleaning up the street and the uh the grass. I would say we could probably leave the skid steer maybe at the end of the driveway. Okay. But we'll take the trailer with us. What? To the yard. So you saw we went over this grass. I don't know how many times with the skid steer taking the concrete out, digging dirt, bringing gravel in. And with the plywood, the track machine, and then the paddle sweeper, you can see there's nothing else that needs to be done. This grass will grow right back in. A little bit of touch up here in the corner where it's scraped this would probably grow back in too honestly and that's it very minimal damage for the amount of work we did you want me to take care of the step and you take care of this you sure oh dang son of a biscuit that's a big one Wow, this is really soft yet. I'll let her sit for a minute. Yeah. Uh, oh, Bugs is working on the concrete in the back. We're finishing up cleaning the road. I, I know what this is. This is from a tailgate. Shut it off! Yeah. The door fell off. It is. Remember last time? There was one time actually the hinges, it, these aren't the hinges, but the hinges actually cracked. Once I open this, I'll show you. Oh, told you the door's falling off. What the heck? Okay, put it down. I got it. It doesn't look like it's stripped. It just looks like it's uh, it came loose. Now open it, but keep it in there. Said close it. How am I gonna get the bolt in if we close? You gotta go from the top. How are you gonna go from the top? When the threads are here and the threads are here. Oh. You, you want me to? Okay, I'll go from the top. I'll thread <laughs> it in for you. No. <laughs> Something's <laughs> wrong with you. No, I was looking. I'm serious. It's not, nothing's wrong. I was looking. <laughs> it was like yeah, that. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think so? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Eric, Eric, you, you don't have even no know idea. where the what kind of fuel goes in here. No. Years ago, I had another, that was a T300 or yeah, T T320, T320, the other yeah. T320 we had, and the hinge welds actually broke right off. So the whole, remember the whole, the whole door, door just fell right off? Yeah. Hey, the whole door just fell off on uh -huh. us one time. Uh, yeah. yeah. We were doing the job. And, and the so, we, so we left the door off, and the exhaust broke off too. So I had no muffler <laughs> and no door. It was so loud. Oh. I was like, Bruh! Remember that? But we finished the job. We finished the job. Yep. We can take those forms off and put caution tape around that. All right, we are done for the day. It's about 2.30, we've got the step board. As you saw, the stoop and threshold, a little piece of sidewalk in the front. And patio is ready to pour. Tomorrow morning, all we gotta do is bury a down spot right there, put our wire mesh, felt and rods up against the house, and we are pretty much ready to go. So I will see you guys right back here in the morning. Adios. 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 What side of the sign were you today? Tell me the truth. The truth. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Adios. Adios, everybody. All right, I am pulling into Break and Equipment. It's a place I've done business with for a long time. Daryl and Daryl are here. And Daryl Jr. found an orange light that he likes. So on my last live stream, which is a while ago, it was before Daryl got suspended, Somebody gave a uh, hundred or hundred twenty dollars, I think, to Daryl specifically for purchasing an orange light. So we're gonna go ahead and buy him his light. <laughs> so this place here, brake and equipment, uh, plows, salters. They put dump bodies on. They do all kinds of fabrication on trucks or whatever you need. They also sell parts. These are good people here, really good people. There was one time, several years ago. 
and I needed to do some work on my salter and they just offered me to work in their shop inside. So that was pretty awesome. Hi, Daryl. It's like a big kid in a candy store. What'd you find? Heavy duty ones. Heavy duty, left. all right. Um, um, Just that. Is it? Just the light. Okay, just all three? Three? No, one. Oh, I thought no, 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 one light. No, no, no. No, he's not actually the boss. He just pretends. Well, no, he, he said to wait. <laughs> he said to wait for the boss. So yeah, because he doesn't have any money. I, I grabbed three of them because he grabbed three of them. So I well, they're for his machine. I didn't build it out. No, so. just just one. <laughs> we'll do one for now, and then we'll come back for this one. There you go. One orange light for you. All yours. He's all happy. He is. Thank you very much. Okay, it I wasn't, you don't it. have to shake my hand. It wasn't me that oh. bought <laughs> Oh, yes. It's somebody from the internet. Yeah. Yeah. All right, see you tomorrow. Yep. Adios.